Well, good morning, everyone. How y'all doing? It's me, Chris. I'm back. Well, let's see here, gang. It's Wednesday. Time for some Bible study. And I wonder if you noticed, but nice and quiet in here this morning. All the peeps have been introduced to the second stage brooder inside the chicken coop. So today will be their first day out there. We'll see how they do. We'll be uh, continuing our study in Joshua. We'll be starting on chapter 15 today. So go ahead and get yourselves a cup of coffee. My daughter just poured me some coffee. And we'll get going on this today. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that are still going on in this world. A lot of crazy stuff. But uh, as long as we have faith in the Lord, I think that we'll probably get through it okay. It's not going to be easy, definitely not going to be easy, but you have to have faith. So be in continuous prayer. You know, I've been posting stuff in my like in my like videos, just look down there in my like videos and you'll see all the stuff I've been posting. Look through it, see what you think. If there's something that you're interested in, follow the rabbit hole. There's links down there, you know, follow up. Uh, do the research for yourself and see what you come up with. That's all I can say. There's no reason to get overly excited about anything. The Lord's got it all handled, and we're under judgment. We know that. We know we're under judgment. So just pray, and pray for those that are sinners and those that are lost and those that just have never known the Lord. Make sure, because those are the people that really need it. They're the ones that are going to really suffer in the end. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll get into our study today. Let me get my glasses on so I can see. There we go. All right. Let's open to Joshua, chapter 15, and we'll get our study started here today, okay? Continue to learn about the Lord's giving of the land of milk and honey to the children of Israel and the cleansing of the land. We'll see if uh, we got some more war going on here. All right? All right, chapter 15, Joshua. If you're not ready, go ahead, just pause the video, and we'll get it. You can catch up with us, okay? All right. By the way, anybody that's new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you need a Bible, let me know. I'll send you one out, free charge. Just drop me an email. My email address is in the bucket. Okay? And welcome. Welcome to our fellowship. This is where we learn about God's Word, and uh, we fellowship with each other and con converse and, and talk about what's coming because we're under judgment. There's no doubt about it. All right, gang, let's get started here. Chapter 15. This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom. The wilderness of Zin southward was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the sh shore of the salt sea from the bay that looketh southward. And it went out to the south side to Ma'al Akrabium and passed along to Zin and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karka. From thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of that coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast. And the east border was the salt sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to Beth Hagla and passed along by the north of Beth Arba. And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. And the border went up toward Debur, 
from the valley of Achor and so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that is before the going up to Adummim, which is on the south side of the river. And the border passes toward the water of Eshemesh, and the goings out thereof were at Enrogel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hin, Hinimom, Hin, sorry, Hinnom, unto the south side of the Jebusite, the same as Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom, westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants, northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Neftu, Neftah, and went out to the city of Mount Ephron. And the border was drawn to Baal, Baalah, which is Kerjath Jerem. And the border compassed from Baal, ba, Baalah westward unto the Mount Seir, and passed along unto the side of Mount Jerem, which is Chesalon on the north side, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out unto the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Sikron, and passed along to Mount baal Ah, and went out unto Jebneel, and the going out of the border were at the sea. And the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof, this is the coast of the children of Judah round about according to their families. And unto Caleb the son of Jephane, he gave a part among the children of Judah according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, even the city of Ar Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Shishai and Ahiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Debur, and this name of Debur before was Kerjathasifer. Well, that's pretty good first shot. Verse 16, And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kerjathasifer, and taketh it, to him will I give Aksah, my daughter, to wife. And Othniel the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Achshah, his daughter, to wife. And it came to pass, as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lightened off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wilt what wilst thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing. For thou hast given me a south land, give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. Nether springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families. And the utmost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the coast of Edom southward were Kabzeel and Eder and Jagir and Kainah and Dimnoah, and Adada. These names are something else, guys. And Kadesh, and Hazor, and Ithnan. Ziph, and Tel Telem, and Beloth, and Hazor, Hada, Hat, Hadata, and Kiroth, and Hezron, which is Hazor. Amam, and Shema, and Molada, and Haz, Hazargada, and Heshmon, and Beth Palet, and Hazur, Hazar Shula, and Be, Be'ar Sheba, and Bizjatha, Bizjatja, Jathja, Bizjatja. Where are you from? I'm from Bizjatja. Baal all and I am 
and Azem. And E El Talad and Shasil and Horma and Ziklag and Madma Madmana and Sansana and Lebath and Shilahim and Ain and Rimmon. All the cities are twenty and nine with their villages, and in these villages. Oh, I'm sorry. And in the valley, Eshtal, Eshtal and Zoreah, and Ashna, and Zan, Zanoa, and Engalnim, Tapua, and Enam, Jarmuth, and Adulam, Soka, and Azaika. And Sherarim, and Ad Adithayim, and Jadera, and Jaderathaim, fourteen cities with their villages. Zainan, and Hadashah, and Mig Migdala Migdalgad, and Dilanan, and Mizpah. And Jock the El, Lachish, and Bozkath, and Eglon, and Cabon, and Lama, and Kithlish, and Get Jedel Jedaroth, Bethagon, and Naama, and Makadea, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, and Ether. And Eshan, and Jip, Jifta, and Ashna, and Nazib, and Kila, and Akzib, and Mare Shah, nine cities with their villages, Ekron with her towns and her villages, from Ekron even unto the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages. Ashdod with her towns and her villages, Gaza with her towns and her villages, unto the river of Egypt and the great sea and the border thereof. And in the mountains, Shamir and Jatir and Soko and Dana, Danana, Dana, yeah, Dana, and Karjathasane, which is Debur. And Anab, and Eshtema, and Anim, and Goshen, and Halan, and Jila, eleven cities with their villages. Arab, and Duma, and Ishanan, and Janum, and Bethtap, sorry, Bethtapfua, and Afinet. Afenka and Afenka and Humta and Karjath Arba, which is Hebron, and Zyar, nine cities with their villages, Maon, Carmel, and Ziph, and Jata, and Jeriri, Jezreel, and Jokdeam, and Zanoa, Cain. Gibbonah, Timnah, ten cities with their villages, Halhul, Bethzur, and Jez Jador, and Ma'arath, and Bethanoth, and El Tel El Tikan, six cities with their villages, Kerjath Baal, which is Kerjath Jarim, and Rab. Rabba, 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 two cities with their villages. In the wilderness, Beth Araba, Middin, Middin, and Sekaka, and Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and Enjadi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out. 
But the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. Chapter 16. Wow, we made it through all those cities. Whew. Sorry, guys. I know my pronunciation of the cities are terrible. I know. I'm, I'm trying. Chapter 16. And the lot of the children of Joseph fell from the Jordan by Jericho unto the water of Jericho on the east to the wilderness that go up, goeth up from Jericho throughout Mount Bethel. And goeth out from Bethel to Luz, and passeth along unto the borders of Arachai to Ataroth. And goeth down westward to the coast of Japhleti, unto the coast of Beth Horin, Horan, sorry, Beth Horan, the nether, and to Gezer, and to the goings out thereof are at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim took their inheritance. And the border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus. Even the border of their inheritance on the east side was Ataroth Adar, Adadar, unto Beth Haran the upper. And the border went out toward the sea to Michnathah on the north side. And the border went about eastward unto Ta'anath Shiloh and passed by it on the east to Jan-no-nah, Jan Janoha and went down from Janoha to Adaroth and to Naaroth and came to Jericho, and went out at Jordan. The border went out from Taf Tapua westward unto the river Canaan, Cana. and, and the goings out thereof were at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim by their families. And the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. And they drave not out the Canaanites that dwell in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites unto this day and serve under tribute. Chapter 17. There was a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, to wit, for Machir, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war. Therefore he had Gilead and Bashan. There was also a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh by their families. For the children of Abi Abiezer, and for the children of Helak, and for the children of Azrael, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hefer, and for the children of Shemida, these were the male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, by their families. But Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons but daughters, and these are the name of his daughters, Malah, and Noah, Haglah, Milcah, and Tezerah. Now, these must be important women because this is like the third or fourth time that they've been mentioned in this. So you might want to take note of these women's names. Verse 4. And they came near before Eleazar the priest and before Joshua the son of Nun and before the prince saying, the Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore, according to the commandment of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among the brethren of their father. And there fell ten portions to Manasseh, beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side, Jordan. Because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead, 
And the coast of Manasseh was from Ashar to Mikmitha, that lieth before Shechem, and the border went along on the right hand unto the inhabitants of Entap Entapua. Now Manasseh had the land of Tapua, but Tapua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. And the coast descended unto the river Cana, southward of the river. The, these cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh, the coast of Manasseh also was on the north side of the river, and the outgoing of it were at the sea. Southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea is his border. And they met together in Asher on the north, and in Issachar Is 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 on the east. And Manasseh had, an, had in Issachar, and in Asher, Beth Shean, and her towns, and Ibleam, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Dor, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Endor, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Ta'anak, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Me Megid Megiddo, Megiddo, and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. Yet it came to pass, when the children of Israel were waxen strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit it? seeing I am a great people, forasmuch as the Lord hath blessed me hitherto. And Joshua answered them, If thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country, and cut down for thyself therein the land of the Perizzites and of the giants, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. So he's t Joshua is telling him here in verse 15 that if it's too small of a land, go up there and take on the giants and take over their land in the forests. Hmm. Verse 16. And the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are of Beth Sheen and her towns, and they who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Je Joshua spake unto the house of Joseph, even to Ephraim and to Manasseh, saying, Thou art a great people, and hast great power. Thou shalt not have one lot only, but the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down, and the outgoings of it shall be thine, for thou shalt drive out the Canaanites." though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong. Chapter 18 And the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh. Shiloh. Hmm, Shiloh, like as in Civil War Shiloh. Interesting. And set up the tabernacle of the congregation there, and the land was subdued before them. And there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes which had not received their inheritance. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, How long are ye slack to go to possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers hath given you? Give out from among you three men for each tribe, and I will send them, and they shall rise and go through the land and describe it according to the inheritance of them. <sighs> Chew. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sneaky. Uh, I'm sorry about that. And they shall come again to me, and they shall divide it into seven parts. Judah shall abide in their coast on the south, and the house of Joseph shall abide in their coast on the north. Ye shall therefore describe the land into seven parts, and bring the description hither to me, that I may cast lots for you here 
before the Lord our God. But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad and Reuben and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond Jordan on the east, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them. And the men arose and went away, and Joshua charged them that went to describe the land, saying, Go and walk through the land and describe it, and come again to me, that I may here cast lots for you before the Lord in Shiloh. And the men went and passed through the land and described it by cities into seven parts in a book and came again to Joshua to the host at Shiloh. And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord. And there Joshua divided the land unto the children of Israel according to their divisions. And the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families. And the coast of their lot came forth between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. And their border on the north side was from Jordan, and the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north side, and went up through the mountains westward, and the goings out thereof were at the wilderness of beth Aven. And the border went over from thence toward Luz, and the side of Luz which is Bethel, southward. And the border descended to Ataratha, Ataratha-dar, near the hill that lieth on the south side of the nether Beth-horon. And the border was drawn thence, and compassed the corner of the sea southward from the hill that lieth before Beth-horon, southward, and the goings out thereof were at Kerjathabal. Kerjath Baal, which is Kerjath Jearim, a city of the children of Judah that was the west quarter. It's interesting that they changed uh, that name, Kerjath Baal, which has got Satan's name in it, uh, and they changed it to Kerjath Jearim. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Kicked old Satan out of there. Verse 15. And the south quarter was from the end of Kerjoth Jearim, and the border went out on the west and went out to the well of waters of Neftua. And the border came down to the end of the mountain that lieth before the valley of the son of Hinnom, and which is in the valley of the giants on the north, and descended to the valley of Hinnom to the side of Jebus. Jebuzai on the south, and descended to Enrogel, and was drawn from the north, and went forth to Enshemesh, and went forth toward Jelaloth, which is over against the going up of Adum, Ad, Adumim, and descended to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben, and passed along toward the side over against Aria. Arabah, northward, and went down unto Arabah. And the border passed along to the side of Beth Haglah, northward, and the outgoings of the border were at the north bay of the Salt Sea, at the south end of Jordan. This was the south coast. And Jordan was the border of it on the east side. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, by the coast thereof round about according to their families. Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin according to their families were Jericho and Beth Hagalah and the valley of Keziz and Beth Arabon and Zemaraim and Bethel and Avim and Para and Ophrah and Chefer Haham, Haam, Monai, and Ophani, Ophni, and Gaba, twelve cities with their villages, Gibeon, and Ramah, and Beeroth, and Mizpah, and 
Sephara and Moz Moza and Rechem and Ere Er Peil and Tar Allah and Zela Elef and Jebusai were which is Jerusalem Gibeath and Kirjath fourteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin according to their families. We'll go ahead and we'll stop on chapter 19 and we'll pick up there on Sunday. Wow, these cities are crazy to try to read. Um, I hope you all are a little bit patient with me on that. I'm not exactly uh, real good at pronouncing these names. I'm trying. So kind of uh, bear with me on that. Anyway, I hope the study is good for you. I hope that you're learning something about it, about the, the borders of Israel and the land that God gave to the children of Israel according to the inheritance of their families. Like I said in the last video, you might want to look at the uh, map in the back of your Bible so that you get an idea of how large this area is because it's pretty big. It's not small like they, they say it is today. This is a big area. And they're fighting giants. Hmm. Nephilim. So, anyway, I'm going to cut you all loose. Um, please, please repent. Repent and ask God to forgive your sins. Use your heart and mean it. Use your mouth to declare Jesus Christ as your Savior. And then pray. Pray to Jesus. Ask Jesus his opinion about everything. Everything in your life. And prepare. Things aren't getting any better, gang. This volcano is getting kind of crazy. So, and then we've got all kinds of stuff going on all around the world that uh, they're diverting our attention from because of all this collusion stuff. Don't pay attention to the garbage. Just make sure that you're informed. Make sure that you're informed about everything going on. Try to stay out of it. Don't get involved. You know, the Lord tells us to be knowledgeable of the world but not be a part of it. Just stay out of it. Just know what's going on. Do your research so that way you're educated in what world events are. And then love your family. Keep them close. Keep them close and make sure that they're ready for what's coming. Make sure that they're knowledgeable also, even though most of the time they won't believe you. They'll look at you like you're nuts. But when it all comes down, then all of a sudden the light will go on and they'll go, wow, I can't believe you're right. Been doing it for a long time. Most of my family don't even talk to me. Anyway, love your neighbor. No matter what, love your neighbor. And do something good for someone in need. Help them out. If somebody needs a job, let them mow your lawn. Okay? Help somebody out. Don't just give them a hand out. Give them a hand up. And there again, if you need a Bible, let me know. I'll send you one out. Okay? That's all I got for today. So you guys have a good rest of your week. Try to get as much done as you possibly can and pray about everything. Be ready. It's coming soon. All right, gang. We'll see you all on Sunday. We're almost there. Only a couple of days away from the weekend. So, as we're sliding into home plate, get ready. Enjoy. And we'll talk to you later. Okay? God bless. Bye.